Well, hello and welcome to Tibu's Investigative Card Making. My name is Teresa Bullman and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I'm located in the most beautiful place on earth, almost, um, East Tennessee. <laughs> almost, because I'm sure there's other beautiful places. But I think East Tennessee is beautiful, especially right now. Oh, my stars and garters. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Today's card is quite interesting. Um, I started off with an idea from somebody else. Her name is either Lori or Tori. Hi, hi, hi. I don't like messing up people's names, but she's from um, Confessions of a Stamp Addict. Dot com. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so anyways, the card that I'm going to show you and that we're actually going to do is also a part of my Monday's class. Now, let me let you take a picture of this. Hold on, let me straighten it up a little. Okay, now take a screenshot. Three, two, one, and done. Okay, and the other one, I can find a place for it. You should see, no, you shouldn't see this. <laughs> this is my Mondays at 6 p.m. on Facebook Live. And there's that little, my husband made a tiny, your, your, I don't know, URL, dot com for my Facebook page. You can take a screenshot of that while I'm not touching it. And um, it's called Gumshoe Card Making Class. Well, because... I love Sherlock Holmes and um, Angela Lansbury's on Murder, She Wrote and some other little ones that they're not gory and yucky. So I like watching them over and over. Oh, Perry Mason. I've watched it so many times. I know every, I know the lines <laughs> by heart. Anyway, so we named it this and I love this shoe my husband used. By the way, I'm touching now. So I hope you got the screenshot. But um, this is my lo logo. My husband's teaching me that word because it's L-O-G-O. -O. It's a log and an O. Hello. <laughs> this class is a free with purchase class. So if you purchase $35, you'll get the, um, the case profile or the case file. Everything is named and of, um, you know, those type of things, detective stuff and all that. Um, and that will have the measurements and everything on it that you need, the supplies and whatnot. You will also get, well, actually, you you will get three cards. Well, you'll get six cards, but three cards and two. No, I'm sorry. I can't talk today. Three cards you get, which adds up to six because you're going to do them twice. And you get three designs, okay? So three cards, three designs. I don't know why that was so difficult. My goodness, made it harder than it was. Mm -hmm. Now, let me show you two of the cards and possibly a bonus card, which we are going to make. I'm not telling you the measurements on this one because you will receive them when you get 30, when you order $35. Now, if there's an embellishment, which I can't think there is, I'm, I, oh, I missed an embellishment, but I don't have them here right now because apparently I put them away and I can't find them. You know, when you put things away and, you know, I mean, how are you supposed to find them? <laughs> Organization is not helpful. Okay, let me show you the, the, um, one of the cards. I'm debating whether to add to this. I really kind of like it just as it is. Now, I know you can't see it really well, but right here is, and over here and over here is a tree. So I will open it up for you to see it. I stamped black trees because they're winter. They're falling off trees, leaves, falling off trees with leaves, <laughs> no leaves. And then I op and then you open it up again and you have a place to write and the sentiment, which is a teeny crooked. But who's going to know unless you tell them, right? And I'm going to put some sentiments there and it make it sentiments. I'm going to put some gems there and it won't look like it. Okay. Um, 
So may knowing Christ bring you peace for today, hope for tomorrow, and joy in every season, right? So this is it, and this is wishing you hope and peace of Christ this season. I love these um, Christian sayings. That comes from the stamp set. I will pull it right here. Called Hope and Peace. It's a wonderful stamp set. Look at this. God's blessing to you. Peace on earth. Goodwill to men. Emmanuel. God with us. The weary world rejoices. We know that song, right? With hope. Oh, excuse me, with love and hope, I'm seeing it backwards. Merry Christmas, tidings of comfort and joy, and the one that I read to you, May Knowing Christ Bring You Peace for Today, Hope for Tomorrow, and Joy in Every Season. I hope he brings you all that too. I love that sentiment. Now, the stamps that we were going, we're going to work with, I didn't tell you the other half of the... the um, the free with purchase class. I will tell you now. Now, after I tell you about this uh, Windows Wishes, and it's a bundle. It comes with window dies. Yay! And half of them are on here because they're over on my um, my boss guy. <laughs> my cutting and boss. Wow, I really don't know those words, do I? And this is really awesome. This is a photopolymer set. There, this is actually clean. I was so shocked when it went green. And then if, I knew I knew red would do it, but I didn't think green would. Anyways, it did. Interesting, right? And um, I'm going to put these in here so I don't lose them. I have cut everything out for the card we're going to make using this stamp set oh my goodness have mercy on me and you know what oh i just had another idea for that card it's so cool now i said i was going to tell you the other half of that um class if you order fifty dollars you will get the three cards and this and the oh you also get the um case files, things, and all that good stuff tells you the information of what you need and stuff. And watching this video or the video for that class, you will see, get also how to do it. Um, there will, I did say three cards. Um, also, you will get the embellishment that I use on this card on that I show on Monday. I'm not showing it today because I messed up and I did not bring any embellishment. Isn't that awful? So I will not be cutting everything that you'll see here today. You will be cutting it because it co there's a bundle. You can cut it yourself. Um, if you don't have the cut and emboss, you can order that. And you can order it on my website, teresa.stampinup.net. Uh, that's T-E-R-E-S-A. I know you um, other people... <laughs> <laughs> that are non-Spanish, that is not a rolling R, okay? If you say it with a D, it's awesome sauce. Why am I on a tangent? Okay, back to normal and back to home. Let's focus. This is the, the oh, I already showed you this one. Isn't that beautiful? I just love this. Yes, I do, do, do. That's one of the cards. I don't think I'm going to go anywhere else with that. Um, by the way, I learned that from Jen Jennifer McGuire, and she embossed this. Well, I didn't have an embossing folder um, to do this with, so I used our, um, yes, our Snowflake um, Specialty 12 by 12 paper. It's designer series paper. It's vellum. It's vellum, vellum. And that's what she used was vellum. Our vellum is like cardstock. Okay, so here's the other card that um, I made that's going with that class. And when you open it up, there is, I'm using my Walgreens card. Can't steal the number or nothing. <laughs> You'll help me if you use it. <laughs> anyway, so you can, it fits in there. Um, I'll have some tips about this, car, this card when we do it. Uh, I also learned something else about 
because about this card. So it's so cool. When you do something, when you make a card, you learn a lot. Um, God's blessings to you. This is again on the hopes and hopes, hope and peace. And then this one's wishing you hope and peace of Christ this season. This is so cool. The original card that I saw was that lady that I was telling you about. She, um, didn't put this there. Um, she didn't do this. She had this go all the way over. I didn't, I, for me, I did not like it for me. Um, I wanted to show off, um, to showcase this, uh, vellum specialty paper. So it did. Isn't that awesome? Now, let's say you don't want a gift card. What do you do? It's so easy. I bet you already know, don't you? Well, that's what I'm going to show you today. I have got the card and everything's cut. All we're going to do is uh, stamp and put it together. Okay, so um, we have our card base. Oh, and by the way, I'll let you know the colors that I used for that card and this one that we're doing today minus the um, old olive. We are using Evening Evergreen for the sentiments, Costa Cabana for the um, candles. Excuse me. My Evening Evergreen is not closed. Okay, there we go. Uh, we will be using Melon Mom. I always want to say Melon Mambo. It's not. It's Mango Melody for the candle um, flames and Real Red for the sentiments. I'm sorry. I didn't use um, Evening Evergreen. I used even Evening Evergreen for this. And I don't know what you call this. You can tell me, won't you? Okay, so let's put this to, together. And what I did was, I, like I said, I cut everything. We're going to lie this, lay, lie this down, lay this down, like so. Okay, now that you know that, I'm going to go ahead and grab my green glue that's not green. <laughs> it's actually the Tombow uh, Mono Adhesive Glue that comes in... I didn't bring the container out here. No, I did not. But it comes in a container that's green bottom and green top. And both ends, it's a dual end um, uh, uh, glue container. Uh, I happen to like this. I transferred it all in here. And I like it because I can see how much glue I have left. Plus, it has this little tippy thing that makes it easier to do things like this, which we're not going to be doing, but putting glue on this, that would be interesting because that's supposed to be the windowsill. I don't know where it goes. Okay. So some people have it underneath there. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll use it because I'm just curious how I'm going to do. Now I'm squeezing like this because I don't have strength in my hand. So, um, I am trying really super hard not to get too much glue in here. And there we go. And I'm going to lay this right here. There, oh, my. I need more. It is so much easier to see on something else, right? White on white doesn't help either. And I love the glue because it gives me a, about two shakes of a lamb's tail to be able to rubby rubby give it a back rub. I don't get back rubs. I don't want to give it a back rub. Okay, we're going to put, we're not putting down all the white. This one doesn't have any stamping on it, so it's okay to put it on there. Now, I would not do that if, um, because I make mistakes. So, yeah, don't, don't do that. Oops, I got a little crooked there. You can't tell, right? Okay, so here's another reason of getting the glue. It'll go on those things. Actually, the um, Tombow will do a good job of this, too. So, um, it's just, I, I really like knowing when I'm at the end of the rope here. The only way I could find out on the Tombow is if I cut it in half. And who wants to do that? So, when it starts going airy and goes, you want to get rid of it. 
Okay, I am lining up the bottom because the top, I kept making this crooked, even when I wasn't gluing it on, I made it crooked. Okay, that's good. Now let's do the little window, or I don't know what this is. I guess this is the window. It fits right in there. You know what's really weird? When you line up the um, the Dumaflachi for this, the, the framelit for this, um, it looks like you're, I'll show you in a minute if I can just go grab it right quick. But it's quite interesting. Now, I'm going to, oops, get in view would be good. Whoop a daisy. Oh, have you all finished your, um, your card makings? I haven't even started. But I'm on a good start because I'm making all these and all I have to do is mail them. <laughs> That's a lot easier, right? Because I'm doing four weeks of Christmas on Monday using different stamp sets. And some, I, I'm sorry, but that, well, no, I'm not sorry. Uh, that stamp set that I hope in peace, oh my goodness, I just love, 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 love that sentiment. Um... I think the following, not this coming Monday, but the following Monday, I am using a stamp set that, oh my goodness, we're going to use the um, Stamparatus because for me, I think it will stamp a lot better um, using that for me. Now, for you people that are experts, it would be great. It You don't have to do that, but this particular stamp set, I'm turning it around so you don't need to see me do that. Okay, because I, for, first of all, I do not edit my videos. The reason being, because one, I don't know how. <laughs> I, my husband used to edit them, and then I said, you know what, that takes way too much time because then I would have to uh, videotape at the crack of dawn for him to edit it. And I'm like, no, we're not doing that. I am going to put this thing and make it look like a window seal. Oh, looky there, we'll do it right there. And that that glue is gonna disappear because we're going to put the candle there. Yay. Did your mom ever put, um, or do you ever put candles in your, in your window seal? We had candles similar to the one that I'm going to put on here. I think we had like two sets in the living room and we get to put it on there and oh, it was so neat. I loved it. I love Christmas lights. I don't like how it's gone bonkers and people think it's all about them and it's not. Sorry, folks. I know it's a time for you to celebrate and have a good time. That's good. You know, family getting together, that's wonderful. But it's all about the Lord his birth. So, okay, now we're going to put these two together. We've got the flame and the candle dumaflachi, the wax, okay? Now, what's cool about this is you can get all this white right here, all glued up. I like that. Makes it easier for me. How about you? <laughs> oh, my stars and garters. Okay, here we go. Yummy, yummy. I just hurt myself with that pointy thing. And then I'm going to put it on the back of this somehow. Actually, it's very, very easy. If you hear a strange noise, it's my refrigerator. I've gone from sleeping in my bedroom to sleeping out here because <laughs> when I first moved in here, the refrigerator knocks, literally. And um, so I just I didn't, you know, I'd get up from the bed and it was, and I checked the door through the peephole thing and it was the refrigerator. My goodness. So yeah, that was fun. I am going to use some glue dots and these are my, I think all I have is bones over here. Let me grab another 
glue dots. Oopsie daisy, I don't want to drop everything under the sun. That's the big ones, I don't want the big one. I want the little one. Look at all the glue, um, not glue dots, dimensionals I have collected over the years. I mean, I've got more than this. More, I don't even have to buy dimensionals. <laughs> Although I do anyway, because sometimes I give them away. Okay, so taking, I'm using the itty bitty ones. I don't know why, but I am. Well, because you know what? I don't like bouncing from one to the other. I, I don't know why. I just don't. There we go. Just putting the three like I would have. Well, actually, I'd probably only put two. And you know what? I didn't put my little markings on these ones. I know you kind of sort of are wondering, what is she talking about? Well, I take a black magic marker, or is it a magic? No, a black Sharpie permanent marker, and I put it, I make a mark on the thing. Hang on, two shakes of a, ooh, ooh. don't like that. It's, come on, up a daisy. It was not centered in the window. Okay, that's a bit better, nope. It's still not centered. Okay, that's better. Kind of, sort of. Okay. Him. Okay, so that's there, right? And then I'm trying to find my card. Oh, here it is. How about if we put this card over here so we can see what's going on? Oh, and I got some awesome news for those who have been following me a teeny bit. Um, I hate fussy cutting. Hate it, hate it, hate it. It's the worst thing on earth. I don't know who created that, but it wasn't me. Obviously not me. And, um, yeah, don't like it. Mm-mm, no. It's not one of my fun things to do. Um, but anyway, I do not like it. I think that tells you I don't like it. Did I say that I don't like it? I do not like it. So... <laughs> I'm going to put, I'll put that on last, um, this over here. And I laid it down. I, I just laid it down because I got enough. I'm going to have enough of the propping up stuff with the um, From Our Hearts to Yours and the candle. I don't want to overdo the, the thing. So I'm going to take my fancy dancy glue container thing. And I hold it, I hold the little thingamajigger up because it gets in my way. So let's go and do this side. And you really don't need a lot. And I'm trying to stay in the inside. Oops, not necessarily out. Oh dear, that's going to squirt out. Let's see if I can... I put a little blob there. Not good. Yeah, inside. Right, right. Okay. I want to cover the door thingy. But I don't want to go outside my card. I don't care if it goes outside on this side. I just don't want it to go outside on the other. Oopsie. Okay, that's crooked. <laughs> you can tell that, can't you? Uh-oh. Might have. Okay, that's gonna have to stay. Now, I am going to, oh, I'm gonna put a little, you could actually use a glue dot for this part, but um, somebody forgot hers. So, actually I see them right off to the side. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oopsie, I just bent my bow. This, um, this eliminates the need for tying a bow. And it's a perfect bow. Look at that. Perfect. Now, I would put a gem there. But, oh, I just thought of something. No, I'm not going to use it because if I haven't decided if I'm going to um, send them out yet. And I can't find them anyway. So, there you go. I'm going to use these um, 
the edges of this. As soon as I find my gummy scissors, there they are. And wow, the light is horrible over here. I hope you're seeing me okay. I can't see you because you're way up there. My husband changed this thing and um, so it's, where to it go? So it's a little different than what I'm used to. Hmm. Let's see if that's, I just have to chop off a teeny bit. So chopping off a teeny bit. And put this down. Oh, sorry, I'm out of view. Oh, dear. Okay. We'll fix that in a minute. I'm using the little bitty ones because, um, wow, because it's an itty bitty spot. So I even have to cut these in half. So there we go, right? My, my, my. Okay. Oh, my. It's staying. Do I need have one more? No. I get to cut. Yeah, I did have one more. Looky there. <gasps> Color me purple in all shades of green, please. Hug. This would have been easier if I used my take your pick tool, let me tell you, which is right over there. Okay, not worrying about that too much. No one's really gonna go looking around the card to see if I did it right. <laughs> and if they do, that is a, uh, really, really? <laughs> That's like weird. Oops. Okay, now I just want to show you, I fussy cut this all by myself. <laughs> I learned um, from a few people, but the last person I learned is from um, Liz Yule. And she says, just, um, just make the, you know, don't turn the, the um, cards, I mean the um, scissors, turn the card stock. So I'm going to clip this off because it's annoying me. Oh, and it's still annoying me. Imagine that. Arg. That's going to drive me up a proverbial wall. Oh, and it won't come off. Well, tough nuggie. Okay, there we go. I am going to put this right here just below the little whatever that is that up there. This. Not spending a whole lot of time on there. Really? I mean, it's all good. It's a card and it's handmade by me. And the other ones will be handmade by you, right? And I hope you're making your cards this year because you know what? It's such a blessing to receive a handmade card from somebody. Now, oopsie, I don't know what that is, but okay. Now we're going to open it up, okay, and I am sticking, now on this one, I use the shiny um, vellum. It's iridescent. It is so pretty, and if you can see that, it's showing some colors. I love it. Yes, very pretty. Now, on both of them, you turn it over, and you just put some glue behind. I'm using the big parts because it's so much easier with the big parts. And matter of fact, I purposely cut it in a way that I had a lot of big parts. Because the little ones are, I, I don't even attempt the little ones, but look at all the, the big pieces. You don't have to do all of them, just a little bitty here and there, you know, uh, make sure you get your sides. The inside, not so much. There we go. Let's get this side a little bit. So see, there's some here. You don't want it to come off, right? No, 
that would not be, that would not be good. Oh my. Here we go. And we got one last one to do. Well, two. Okay, that side's done, almost. Now the corner, whoopsie. Now remember, I can say whoopsie because I'm not a doctor or a surgeon. You wouldn't want your surgeon to say, oops, especially if you're awake, that would be really bad. Oops, we didn't give you enough. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not like a really good idea. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here on the, whoops, this side, trying not to get everything on me. I want, I, I know it's gonna be about just like little bit. Oh, should have done this first because now I'm having to deal with what you want to call it. So there's my score line right here, right there, right there. Yes. Okay. That's semi good. Now I'm going to, oh, I want to stamp on this. I want to stamp wishing you hope and peace of Christ this season. Okay. So, let's grab this one. Now, don't get me wrong. The other um, stamp set, this one has a lot of beautiful stamp sets. I used, uh, stamp sets. It has a lot of beautiful sentiments. From our hearts to yours is what I used. I like this. Ha may happy moments and known, and known, really? And wonderful memories be yours this season. For lots of joy at Christmas, merry wishes. So it's, oh, and peace up there. So it has a lot of nice things in there. I just like the Christian connotations. Okay. Now, what was I saying I was getting? Um, ho wishing you hope and peace. Yes, that's it. And I'm actually going to stamp that in front of you. Isn't that a boondaba thing to do? Oh, if I can get my, there we go my block, which is yucky. I need to take some. Now, normally I, I turn it upside down and lay it, but it wasn't going to bend. So, all right. And we're going to use, what did I use on this one? I used the green, but I'm going to stay with the flow of the real red. So I'm going to use the real red, um, ink. It really doesn't hurt. It just hurts me because of this hand. You're not going to have any pain. <laughs> now, I want to show you something I learned about um, stamping on here. Or inking up your, your stamp set. All you have to do, this is the amount of pressure that you need to do. I learned this from somebody else. She did this exact example. So she put it on the stamp set and she says, that's it. That's it. So when, you, when you're when you doing it, you're not going, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is lightly touch and that will prevent any ink going around the um, the red rubber. You just get it where you want it, which is where I want. I've got it right where I want it. So take a deep breath and hold it. Exhale. Whew. Good thing I told myself to do that. I'd be like conking out on you. <laughs> and there we go. It's straight. <laughs> Yay. Oh, it's the little things that brings me joy. <laughs> okay. I'm going to bring in my case for with my thingamajiggers in it. I don't know. My stamp, simply st stamps, blah, blah. that's it. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's it. Now we're going to add this to this and you'll have plenty of room to sign it. You just decide what you're gonna do. Again, with the glue, because I like the glue. It gives me a minute because I put, I can't even make a straight line of the glue. So, I mean, look, no straight lines in this department. <laughs> this
They're all wiggly. See, wiggly. I can't make a straight line. Mm -mm. I can't even cut, oops, almost the wrong way, a straight line. So I want to stay away from there. I want to give it a little bit of thingamajigger. You don't want to fold it and then crease it. There we go. Not, I'm staying away from that because it's not completely dry. It's probably dry now, but, uh-oh. There, straight. Okay, so now we're back to the vellum again. We should have probably did them both at the same time, but hey. So I was in my card class and I, was do, I wasn't paying attention. So when I went to glue it, I glued it on the wrong side. And this was with the snow balls. And I'll show you that one in a second. Um, yeah, that was, that was interesting. And I still used it. And then I put some, I think, I put some um, of the embossing buddy that has come back, but it's with a, with the um, Hello Harvest suite in the mini catalog. I am so glad it's back because it has, it came with the little tools for embossing. There's a container that you use that has a Dumaflachi. You can go on there and look. I'm not pulling out the catalog at the moment because I'm working. I'm working here. I can't do anything. Yes, there we go. Ta -da -da. De -dum -de -dum. There we go. Yeah, how about right here, too? <sighs> Okay, time to breathe again. I just noticed something I did, and it was totally by accident. Oops. There we go. Isn't that pretty? It is very pretty. I love it. I know it doesn't look like anything on the, on the video here. Can you see better up there? Okay, I don't want to bring it too close because then you'll go, burr, burr, sorry, <laughs> kind of sorry. So that's the card. Simple, dimple, easy, double cheesy, easy peasy, double cheesy. I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to take my bone folder and make this go down just a little bit. I should have done that earlier too, but I didn't. So you can have um, the best of both worlds. You can, if you want, you can send a card like this. I think this is still so pretty, isn't it? And it is, this is pretty. I kind of like it. I like them both. Which one do you like the best of these two? And then, of course, this one. Um, like I said, uh, I haven't shown the third card on purpose. You will see that on Monday at six o'clock on my f Facebook channel. You took a um, screenshot and I'll bring it back again for those who did not take a screenshot. How dare you? No, I'm kidding. Kidding. My lot in life is to make you laugh. So there we go. And thinking of that, because we didn't do a Wednesday, um, a Wednesday video because I was in a lot of pain. I don't know if I told you all I stumped, stumped. I stubbed my toe like really bad and I went to the doctor and they said I did not break it. It sure felt broken, but it was black and blue. I have never done that before. So it's very painful. We do put a pain, pain cream on it, a painless cream. It makes it supposedly takes the pain away and then I wrap it and then I elevate it. So... That's helping with the pain, but Wednesday I was in excruciating pain. It was like, send me to the ER, but I don't go there unless I'm bleeding, dying, or dead or close to it. So that wasn't going to happen, even if probably I have to be knocked out for somebody to take me to the hospital. Isn't that pretty? Oh, my stars and garters. Look at that one too. Really pretty. I'm so glad you joined me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. 
And if you um, would like to see more of my videos, please consider to subscribe to this channel. I would greatly appreciate it. It will up my subscription thing so that I can do lives. Uh, also, um, there's a bell right next to the subscription um, word, and that will notify you when I upload a video. Thank you again. Have a very blessed day. Bye-bye.